everybody, thank you for joining me today. Um, today I'll be reviewing a set of pens that I purchased off of Jet Pens. Um, so no affiliation, just out of my pocket. The They have a combo set of the drawing pens, the black drawing pens that I purchased, and today I'm going to review it for you. The Jet Pens website has a pretty good description of what the pens are, but it doesn't really go into detail in terms of ghosting and smudging, so that's what I'm going to look at today. So right off the bat there are 11 pens included and the brands that they include are some of the more popular brands which is kind of nice. Um, if you are just getting into lettering or again if you just wanted to see what's out there. Um, I believe the set was $20 for the 11 pens which considering each of these pens range anywhere from $1.50 to $4 is not a bad deal. Okay, so let me start the review. So they're all different majority. There are a couple brands repeated, but for the most part, they are um, a variety. Um, these are the finer tipped ones. As you can see, there are twos and threes in there. So they are gonna be smaller tipped. And um, But what we're gonna look at today is, like I mentioned, we're gonna look at smudging as well as how long it takes to, if, if you erase over top of it, if it keeps its intensity or if it degrades the ink. Okay, so let's start off with the Rotring Tiki Graphic Pen. Um, this pen retails for about $3.60. and um, This is off of the Jet Pen website, so that's where I'm getting these prices from. <laughs> So one of the things that I like to do is um, I will put down my pencil lines and then go over top with the drawing pen. So the smudging is a big deal for me, not just on my hand, I'm not left handed, so um, I can manage not to smudge sometimes, but if I'm going to erase over it, I need the pen to keep its intensity. Okay, so let's have a look. Cream. Okay, and right away it's gonna smudge. So if you're left-handed, I don't know if you're gonna appreciate this pen as much. Okay, and then we'll do an eraser test and then we'll do a highlighter test. So if you're a student or studying and you like to, you like the finer things in life, we're gonna test that out for you. The paper I'm using is a, um, is the Rhodia dotted grid notepad. It is a higher quality paper, so um, the ink is gonna work a little differently than say co standard copier paper, or I know some journals don't have as good copy paper, uh, quality of paper. So just keep that in mind with these reviews. Okay, so now we're gonna do the erase test. Ah, it holds out okay. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's not bad, it's a little bit lighter, but nothing that looks like it's gonna have to be redone. And then we're gonna do a highlighter test. So no, <laughs> that's gonna smudge for you. Okay, next up we're gonna look at the Le Pen. Um, this technical drawing pen, pigmented ink. Uh, this ranges, this is about $1.50 per pen. So the one thing I've learned about the Le Pen that you want to be careful with it's not archival ink so the ink will yellow over time so depending on what you're working on this might not be the, the pen you want to go for entirely so let's put it down on some paper not bad for the smudge test then we'll do the erase test and then we'll do the highlighter So it stands up pretty well to the erase test. It's pretty good. Wish it was archival ink. Then I would definitely add it to my rotation. And then let's see. Okay, so there's a bit of ink left from the previous. Let me clean that off. Let's go over it again. So yeah, if you're going to go over it more than once, you're going to get some ink. Once is fine. More than once, not so good. <laughs> okay. So one of the pens I was super excited to try was the Uni Pen. 
So this looks like it's by Uniball and um, Unipen, Unipen, not Pen, P-I-N, Pro, Waterproof and Fade Proof Pigment Ink. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Um, I like the barrel of this one. Um, I do like the pens to be a bit, the, the barrel of the pen to be a bit more, ugh, I'm not going to use the word, but girthy. <laughs> um, it just gives me, feels like I have more control over it. Okay, so let's do this. Pen. Uh, it doesn't lose us on the smudge test. And then we'll check erase test and highlighter test. Okay. Does pretty good on the erase test. It's not bad. And then, okay, if you're going to go over it once, not a problem. Twice is a problem. Let's clean that off for the next one. Okay. And sorry, the unit pins run for $1.65. So fairly inexpensive. Um, and this again, this is off of jet pens. So next we're going to do the Pigma Micron. I do have history with the pigment mic Pigma Micron. I do also have thoughts about the Pigma Micron. So firstly, these tips break off so easily. I'm not very heavy handed, but I have definitely snapped off my fair share of these Pigma, Pigma Micron tips. Um, the other issue I have with them is if you erase over top of them, they actually lose quite a bit of their intensity. And that just irritates me to no end. And then if we're going to go over top of that, you're going to see some smudging coming up. Okay. So again, these run for $2.50 each. So they are pricey. Um, for what they are, but they are going to last. They are an archival ink. And then micropigment ink for waterproof and fade proof lines. These are not waterproof, I can tell you that right now. Um, there is example A that they're not waterproof, or as waterproof as other pens you can get on the market. The one thing I do like about the Pigma Microns is they do come in a variety of sizes, as well as brush pens. But I cannot forgive that it loses its intensity when you erase. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do the Stabilo sensor. Um, it just says it's a fine liner. Uh, that's going to be the tip. I do like the barrel. It's got this, it's got a bit of a grip in it automatically. So let's give this a try. Smudges. does feel really nice to write with <laughs> if that makes a difference. Okay, here is test. That's pretty excellent. It's pretty excellent. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Okay, and then let's highlight this guy. One, nope, it's streaking. It's already graying and streaking. So keep that in mind. Uh, one thing I've forgotten to show you is the ghosting versus the bleed through. And there's some ghosting or shadowing, but nothing at all. So far, this to below is the less. So I might be adding this to below into my array of pen or welcoming it into my pen family, if you will. They are about $2.20 each. So not too bad. About mid range of the pens we're testing today. Next, we have the Stadler. The Stadler. Stadler. Fineliner, and this guy, I have a long history with this guy. This guy comes in a variety of colors, and um, it's super fun to use. I used this in high school and university while studying, so I'm really a big fan of these guys. They're just fun. A little bit of smudging, but not much. Okay. 
Yeah, so these are about $1.70 each. Um, and like I said, you can buy them in the sets. They are, they are on par with other sets of fine liners you get. And I'll be doing more reviews and comparisons for you um, later on on the channel. Okay, so eraser test. So it doesn't lose its intensity, but it definitely smudges. So I don't think it's going to handle the highlighter very well. And no, it doesn't. So fun to use, lots of colors, but you're going to have to let it dry for a while before you continue on doing what you're doing. <laughs> Next up, we have the Secura Microperm, ultra fine, permanent on most surfaces. Um, this is uh, the same company that makes the Micron. So we'll check these out. Um, again, I feel like I could easily snap this tip off. Uh, handled the smudge test pretty well. Okay, yep, smudge test went well. I'm willing to bet it loses its intensity. Oh, not too bad. And highlighter. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so if you're using this for studying, you might stick to the microperm. They are roughly $2.20, but you want to be careful because they bleed. So I can forgive a lot, but I cannot forgive bleeding. So this guy will be retired or used for very specific projects that do not include planners or paper that I do not need it to bleed on. <laughs> okay, next, this is the Pilot. This is a Pilot drawing pen. This is actually oil-based. So I found that really interesting um, to try. I haven't come across very many oil-based pens. Alcohol-based, yes, but not so much oil-based. So we'll see. This is three dollars and thirty cents this is definitely one of the more expensive samples in the pack so let's go right away i really like the tip and there's no smudging so if you're left-handed you might want to check this guy out okay let's do the erase Oh yeah, it holds its color really well, its intensity really well. And then let's go. Yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> really good pen, really enjoyed that, but it bleeds. So that's the other thing to take into consideration. Again, really like this pen. I hate that it bleeds. It'll definitely go into my specific project pile. Um, again, this is oil-based. The purple pen is oil-based and it's roughly $3.30. The reason why I'm emphasizing the purple is because there's a blue one too. So the blue one, um, same barrel. The only difference is the decorations here. I'm assuming the dots are for water. Um, that's oil, I guess. <laughs> so this is $2.50. And we'll get these try a little bit of a smudge oops water okay erase test so yeah it definitely loses its intensity And it drags a bit of the ink, so you want to watch out for that. Um, you're going to get that with most water-based inks, it's just the way it goes. Now we're going to move on to the most expensive pen in the bunch. The most expensive pen in the bunch, this is the Stettler, Stettler Pigment Liner. This is $4.65. So says it's waterproof on paper, light, fast, indelible, and store horizontally. Most of these pens you're going to want to store horizontally, but let's check this guy out. 
for four dollars and 65 cents you have to super impress me okay some smudges and let's see how it does with the erase and highlighter test Pretty good. Yep. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Highlighter. It, it is starting to smudge a little bit there. So if you can see the smudge. And does it bleed? No, it doesn't. There's some ghosting, but no more than what we've seen before. Okay, not bad. Um, I don't know if it's worth the almost five dollars but it says you can knit the caps off for under 12 hours it won't dry out so that's cool i don't know if it's worth it for me <laughs> but next we're going to do the zig mangaka the zig cartoonist mangaka again water-based pigment says to store it horizontally so kiritake they actually have some cool pens that i want to check out too so these run for two dollars a pen um it just looks kind of goofy to me with the like giant tip moving into this the really thin space but that's just me so let's go Ooh, it's very fine okay there is some smudging there and then just let me get a better indication okay Erase and see. Um, not bad. It fades a little bit. Um, but I don't know if you can see there. It's it, it's almost like the ink is falling apart. The word the the line is falling apart, and that's just a no no zone for me. And it's pretty good. Nope, it's starting to smudge. Okay, and no ghosting which is great. So I would say that if you're using these for writing notes, I would stay away from all of them, especially if you're using the highlighter or if you're left-handed, <laughs> they all do, um, they all do smudge except for the microperm. But again, the microperm is pretty heavy bleeding, which you want to avoid in your books. Um, in terms of drawing, we'll see. My favorite has been the oil pen, the microperm, and the uh, pigment pen, actually. I wouldn't spend $5 on it, but I did like using it in terms of how it felt to hold and the line it creates. I'm not so much into the finer, the much finer points, like the Zig. Um, this is a two, and it comes in other sizes too, but just, just not for me. Um, I'll be posting re this review on my blog as well if you want to go back and reference it so that you don't have to watch the video over and over again, even though I'd appreciate the views. But if you liked what you saw, please press like, please subscribe to my channel, and please let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to review. Um, again, no affiliation with any of these brands. This was just out of my own pocket, out of my own curiosity. Thank you for your time today. Goodbye.